Big Blue Madness is about to get underway. All the big stars are here. We're joined now by ESPN Shannon Spake. And Shannon, a lot of stuff going on here. What do you make of this event as a, an outsider, I guess, of the media? Well, I will say that the first time I, I was ever at Rupp Arena, my college didn't have a huge basketball presence. The first time I came here to cover a game, it was, I mean, it took my breath away. The fans and the energy and, and everything that they they do for their team, it just completely blew me away. I've had the opportunity for the last two years to cover Kentucky. I went to the Final Four last year in the National Championship game with them. So to be here with the fans tonight and to be able to cover this event, it's such a thrill for me. It's something I know that I will remember for a very, very long time. Well, last year's Final Four team, obviously a lot goes into winning a championship. And it was a special group with a lot of freshmen. Covering that team, was there anything that, that you really took notice of that you thought, wow, that's something unique, especially to a group of young kids like that? Yeah, I think just seeing where they were at the end of the year. My first game last year with them was the Big East SEC uh, Championship with St. John here. And to see how far they came, you know, and how, how much they progressed. And it, it was one of those things where you just, like, showed up in, in March and you looked at them and you were like, wow, they're, they're, really, they're a really good team. And um, just to see those guys progress from the very beginning to the very end, and to see Terrence Jones uh, and Jerron Lamb and Darius Miller, who put so much into this team for so many years, to see them hug each other in New Orleans at the end of that game, it was, it was, it was a touching moment, and it was really cool to see their evolution. And that's obviously the goal of Kentucky every year this year. I hope that this is the beginning of another run like that. When you look at this group, new players, new freshmen, is there anybody or anything that you say is really critical for them to be able to make that run again? Well, I think it's it's just buying into Coach Cal's system, working together, being – I mean, he, he talks about it all the time, a brotherhood, you know. I mean, it's not about you, the player, the individual. It's about the team overall, and it's buying into that system. And I think that that's the biggest thing with – with his system and being successful. It's just getting a group of guys. And, and you do hear it a lot. You hear those guys from all the quotes that I've read and all the interviews that I've seen, they talk about the team last year and how much of a brotherhood they were. So it does sound like these guys really want that. And obviously, the the, the payoff is huge and, and everybody wants that. You gotta be honest. The, it's not about you, it's about the team. Do you have to give that to Jimmy Dykes? Is that something you have to tell him? Yes, Jimmy Dykes and Brad Nestler on a daily basis, I have to remind them. It's about the team, guys. <laughs> It's about the team. No, no, no. Jimmy and Brad and I have worked together uh, doing SEC hoops. This will, this will be our third season. This is actually the first night that it's just Brad and myself alone at the desk. So I'm filling in for Nestler. Huge shoes to fill because he's just so great. Um, but, I, you know, they're, they're a cool group, and it's fun to be with them. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy talking with you. Thanks.